Okay, so what we're going to look at today is uh, a developing accident which ended up teaching me something, which all the best accidents do. So I went to America with some Kodachrome 40 silent film, shot it and brought it back and developed it with Adrian Cousins Kodachrome high contrast process. And it, apart from one or two specs here and there, it looks great. It looks a lot better than my old Kodachrome 40 experiments, which through sheer laziness, I used the first developer as a second developer as well. Now there's reasons why you shouldn't do this and there's reasons why there are two developers. The main difference between the first developer and the second developer was potassium thiocyanate which is in the first developer, but not in the second developer, because I believe it's a silver solvent. And the main difference in how it looked is that when I reused the first developer, I got this yellow tint. It's a nice kind of golden tint, and I've talked about it on previous films. But if you want a proper black and white image, then leave out the potassium thiocyanate. Now I'm still doing research as to what that golden tint is, but here's an interesting shot here because I removed a few feet of the film and put it back into the first developer, whereas the rest of it's in the second developer. And then I spliced it back together. It's coming up and there. And now everything's yellow again. Same conditions, same film, same camera, same everything, except for the film went into a back into the first developer instead of the second developer. So uh, that's about all I've got to say about this. I am now doing the proper first and second developer mixes and developing and if I ever want to go back to that kind of violent orange yellow color then I'll just uh, reuse the first developer and that's it that's all for now oh there was one other thing a Kodachrome 40 silent film comes out a lot better than Kodachrome 40 sound film now I've done sound film in first and second developer. I used exactly the same process as the Kodachrome 40 silent film. The only thing different is that I'm using sound film and not silent film. Sound film generally looks a lot worse, like lower contrast, grainy, washed out, which leads me to suspect that Kodachrome 40 sound film has a thinner emulsion or a different emulsion or generally just a shit emulsion compared to the silent film. So go figure, maybe the Kodachrome 40 silent film is thicker or something, I uh, don't know, but it looks better. And from now on, unless I have to have sound, I will be shooting on uh, K40 silent and using the first and second developer, unless I want a yellow color in which I use the first developer bleach re-exposed then back into the first developer for that lovely lucasade piss colored tint and that's it for now keep watching and keep filming and i'll see you later